How's it hanging fellas? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of Half-Life and in today's episode we're, you know, shooting aliens, shooting soldiers, killing people, the usual stuff. Maybe if I followed the story with I fucking knew what's happening, I would be like, oh in today's episode we're going through the part where in this DLC this character was doing this, Barney was up to this bullshit, Gordon Freeman was thinking like, holy shit I'm so fucking sad. I'm killing people and it's fucking awful. I had an idea, right? Where I would read the fucking full life consequences. The fucking what's it called again? Fan fiction. Full life and the first thing that comes up is full life consequences. And now I wanna see the fanfic. Now there you go, fan fiction. I think this, uh, yeah, this is the original, it's 2006. Rated T, English, Horn, Sci-Fi, War, 752. Follow, 769. Nice, published May 19th, 2006. 600 fucking comments, Jesus Christ. Half-Life. Full life consequences. John Freeman, who was Gordon Freeman's brother, was one day in an office typing on a computer. He got an email from his brother that said the aliens and monsters were attacking his place and asked him for help, so he went. You follow that? <laughs> he asked him for help, so he went. To help, obviously. I don't think he needed to write what he went to do. I think it's pretty obvious. You guys are just fucking stupid, I don't know. John Freeman got off... Wait, what? John Freeman got his computer shut down and went on the platform to go up to the roof of the building where he left his motorcycle and normal people close because he was in his office lab coat. The fuck was that? And normal people close because he was in his office lab coat? John Freeman got on his motorcycle and said it's time for me to live up to my family name and face full life consequences. So he had to go. Time was going, you know. John Freeman ramped off a building and did a backflip and landed. He kept driving down the road and did a fucking backflip, nice. And landed. Don't forget that part. He kept driving down the road and made sure there was no zombies around because he didn't have weapon. How did he make sure the zombies were no around? Because, well, I know that I understand that he had no weapons and he had to make sure the zo there were no zombies around. But how did he make sure there were no zombies around? Because you know, saying that he made sure of that, I don't know. It kind of implies that when he was driving a motorcycle, he was like getting rid of zombies as well. I don't know. The countrysides were nice and the plants were singing and the birds and the sun was almost. Plants were singing, and the birds in the sun was almost down from the top of the sky. The mood was set for John Freeman's quest to help his brother where he was. John Freeman looked around the countryside and said it's a good day to do what has to be done by me and help my brother to defeat the enemies. John Freeman was late so he had to drive really fast. A cop car was hidden nearby so when John Freeman went by the cops came and went wanted to give him a ticket. You don't fucking give ticket to John Freeman who's about to help his brother defeat aliens. What the fuck, bro? Here John Freeman saw the first monster because the cop was possessed and had head crabs. Thank god he didn't hit crabs. I can't give you my license officer, John Freeman said. Why not? Said the head crab officer back to John Freeman. Because you're a head crab zombie, so John Freeman shot the officer in the head and drove off thinking my brother is in trouble there and went faster. Because he was already going fast, so now he's going really fucking fast. I feel like I need to explain because you guys might not be, uh, you might not have PhD in internet literature like I do. John Freeman had to go faster like the speed of sound, like Sonic the Hedgehog, and got there fast because Gordon needed him where he was. John Freeman looked at the road sign and saw Ravenholm. Raven 
Raven Holm, yeah, that's what it says, okay. With something written underneath, it's saying, You shouldn't come here. So uh, John Freeman almost turned around but heard screaming like Gordon, so he went faster again. John Freeman drove and did another flip and jumped off his motorbike, and motorbike took out some headcrab zombies in front of John Freeman. Whew, that was a sentence. John Freeman smiled and walked fast. John Freeman then took on the on the ground and found weapons so he picked it up and fired fast at zombie goats. I think it's supposed to be ghosts in front of a house. John Freeman said zombie ghosts. They really said goats. Zombie goats leave this place and the zombie goats said but this is our house and John Freeman felt sorry for them because they couldn't live there anymore because they were zombie ghosts so he blew up the house and killed the zombie ghosts so they were at peace. How do you kill a ghost? I don't know, but they were at peace after they died twice. Then John Freeman heard another scream from his br heard another scream. Sorry, heard another scream from his brother. So he kept walking really fast to get where he was. Ravenholm was nothing like the countryside. There was no birds singing, and the plants were dead, and the dirt was messy and bloody from head crabs. When John Freeman got to where the screaming was started from, he found his brother Gordon Freeman fighting the final bosses. Boss with triple S. And Gordon... <laughs> so, better fucking boss. Boss. And Gordon said, John Freeman over here! So John Freeman went there to where Gordon Freeman was fighting. John Freeman fired his bullet from the gun really fast and the bullets went and shot the final boss in the eyes. And the final boss couldn't see. See, I'm not sure if this is actually fucking serious. It does not sound like it's serious. But it was 2006, nobody made fun of fan fictions back then. No, I don't feel like fan fictions were that big of a fucking joke. Like, you actually unironically write fan fictions. I feel like maybe this was just simply some little kid writing this. And that's why it's so fucking stupid. Gordon Freeman said, it's time to end this once and for all and punched the final boss in the face but the final boss fell john freeman said thanks i couldn't help thanks i could help bro and gordon freeman said you should come here earlier next time and they laughed they laughed over quickly they laughed over quickly because john freeman yelled look out bro and pointed up to the sky gordon freeman looked up and said no john freeman run out of there as fast as you can and John Freeman walked really fast out. John Freeman looked back and saw Gordon get stepped on by the next boss and he was mad and angry. I'll get you back, evil boss. John Freeman yelled at the top of the lungs to be continued. Wait, that's the fucking first chapter, I suppose. And there's ads for pornography underneath. That's great. I want to see the comments. Now fuck off with these porn ads. Pino. I really enjoyed the vision version and I was hoping you could do more. I wonder what's up, like, you know, comments that are actually from around that time, what people thought of when it came out. I guess they also made fun of it since the fucking video making fun of the fanfiction. The one that popularized this fanfiction was 2008, so I guess people really realized how stupid this was. Good shit. What the fuck? What the fuck, really? Thank you. Squirrel King For writing a fan fiction that has touched the life of many others Although I would say more of a so bad is good kind of touching Even though you may not see this post I wanted to say Good luck with the whatever the hell you're doing next Absolutely beautiful, perfect, fuck yes Laugh from the past, watch video on YouTube that you watch as a kid What the fuck? Beautiful, yes, this makes me cry every time No, this is sad There's 11 pages of these fucking comments Where's chapter 2? I wanna look up this fucking Squirrel King and see if he wrote anything more. God damn it with these fucking ads. He wrote a fan fiction in 2017. Hal Halos in Space, Reflection, The Ending. Wait, what? Oh my god, look, he actually. Last fan fiction from Half Life. Okay, here's a fucking biography. There is Half-Life Full-Life Consequences that I just read to you. Half-Life Full-Life Consequences 2, what has to be done. Maybe you all read it that, I'll read it next episode. Metal Gear Solid, Fight of Metal Gears. 
That's 2006. Metal Gear Solid 5 and Metal Gear 2. That's 2006. Halo. Halo's in space. 2006. Final Fantasy 7. Story of Rain Strife. <laughs> Dude. What's this fucking fascination with making brothers do characters? It's already fucking sad. Like I know there's rain. But it's a fucking Mortal Kombat Final Fantasy crossover. Halo, Halo's in space 2, Alien back, Aliens attack, sorry. And then there's Half-Life, Hero beginning, Half-Life, Full Life Consequences, Free Man. Dude, the last chapter of Free Consequences came out like three years after the last one. And the latest one, Halo's in space reflection, is in 20... 17, but hold on, it's only like... It's only 10 words, and it says the aliens came and they were without any feelings. T. Okay, well, I just learned a lot of history today. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm... I don't know, I'm gonna read the next chapter, next episode, maybe. If I don't have anything other, other interesting things to talk about. So see you fellas in the next episode, bye.